Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about these pellets. I picked them up at my local grocery store. They looked good. They are 100% pure Texas mesquite pellets, but man was I disappointed. They caused a lot of trouble and I will never use these pellets again. So I was out uh, on the patio making a new YouTube video talking about making some easy smoked chicken breast that taste awesome and then I just ran into problems. Man, um, if you listen closely you can hear the flame going in and out and look at all that dirty smoke. Here, take a look one more time. Man. Okay, so I ran into something. I'm using some pellets that I've never used before. And, uh, see my fire pot down there? It is full of, like, gunky ash. Uh, and I had it all cleaned out prior, ooh, it's hot, prior to this smoke. And, uh, I've never seen anything like this. I always, always, always use lumberjack pellets. I have used B&B pellets and like them. Uh, but these pellets that I use today, which were picked up from my store. They said 100% wood. Uh, they look good. So I thought I'd give them a try. And they are giving me a problem. I think it's affecting actually my cook. I'll go all that down. Get all that ash in there. But yeah, it's, it's just like goopy ash. What it is. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, I turned my temperature down there so that I could, so it would stop feeding pellets like crazy. I'm going to go ahead and get the temp bumped back up, turn my knob to 250, get some pellets dropped in here. There we go, fire's lit now. I'll get the collector back on. Set it back to smoke. And now I'm going to get my chicken back in the smoker. All right, so now that you got a glimpse of what was going on during this smoke, um, it was, again, an absolute pain to deal with. The ash just, like, was thick and clumped up to where it just wouldn't drop in that clean out below and I went ahead and finished out the chicken um, finished smoking up the chicken got it up to temp and then at the end like I always do I drained my hopper I turned my smoker up to high to feed all the remaining pellets out of the auger and what do you know it started doing it to me again the the ashes started building up I had to then go in there, turn it down really low so that the auger would stop feeding, clean it all out, get that ash to drop down, break it apart, and then um, go into shutdown mode. Not only was the, the smoke a pain because of having to do all of that, the chicken, I have never tasted dirty smoke from a pellet smoker. I've made the mistake, I've had dirty smoke on my drum smoker. Never as dirty as what this tasted. It was disgusting. Bitter, dirty smoke. Um, because it just, the flame would kick up and then it'd die out and it would just sit there and just grow smoke. So my suggestion is 
do not use these pellets in your smoker. If you do use these pellets and you like them and they work great for you, comment below, let me know. Maybe it was just this bag, but I am probably never buying these pellets again. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I sure hope it helped you out. If you liked this video, hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.